Hello! Happy Saturday, everybody! Welcome to the ever-expanding Halloween world of a Strong Style Fitness is Workout Space. I am super excited to be here with you guys. Super excited. We are one week away from Halloween, so we keep bringing the game. We keep uh, adding decorations. I've already picked out all of my upcoming skull and Halloween outfits for the next several workouts. So I encourage you, play along. Put on your best Halloween. If you're wearing it, let me see it. I'd love to see your picture. Um, as I've said in previous videos, and then those that don't know me personally, Halloween is like my Christmas, birthday, Easter, all wrapped into one big happy package. So. Rue loves it too. She wants to sit and pose with all of the beautiful decorations that we have. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much for being here. Um, today we are doing um, a different twist on a workout, right? Because why not? Let's keep getting sciencey and experimental with what we're doing here. So we're going to be doing combo ISO sets. I may have just made that up. I don't know. It could be a, could be a genius, maybe. But uh, we're going to do three exercises together. We've got three sets of that. The first two exercises are going to be combination exercises. So we'll be working, you know, lower body, upper body together. And then the third exercise, we're going to pick one of those body parts we were just hitting in the combo and isolate it. So, for example, our first set is going to be split squats with an overhead press. And then we're going to do each side of those, and then we're going to do lateral front raises to dig back into those shoulders. So it's kind of how we're doing that. We're going to do an um, intense lower body in our combo set, and then upper body digging with that isolation. So that is how we're going to be working today. Oh, I think we're just ready to go. Can I get a half five on the way out? Hands. Come on. Ooh, come on. Don't let me hang in. Hands. Good girl. All right. Go ahead. You can go. So what you're going to need today is all of your hand weights. So, and I say that not really because we're going to be just jumping all over the board and doing a million exercises, but just because we are doing lower body, upper body together. Uh, we're doing all sorts of different exercises. It's full body. So I just say bring whatever you have to the table so you have all the options that you need. You do need a sturdy chair. As I mentioned already, we're doing split squats. So um, just your sturdy chair or whatever that is that you use when we do split squats, coffee table, couch, whatever it is, you just need something to be able to put your foot back on. If you don't have that, you have absolutely no option there, and you can just do a traditional lunge. No big whoop. And lastly, you just need your yoga mat, your floor support, because we are going to be spending um, some time in the floor for our third set. And if we get to our bonus round, we'll need that floor support again. I know, and every time I say bonus round, you guys are probably like, oh god. Mm, you might feel that way again. <laughs> so. As I mentioned, full body workout, two combination exercises, one isolation exercise, We've got three sets, three exercises, we'll go through one each three times as normal. Um, and guys, I, I do it that way not to be boring, but because that is just kind of the way that we work out. Usually three to four sets of exercises is where you want to be. Usually about 12 reps, 10 to 12 is where you want to be. So I'm not, uh, we don't always move in this way because I'm just not creative with it or I'm being lazy. That's just kind of how we work out. That's the sort of best practice for it, so um, that's how we're moving. So it's not just, man, that's just what I do and that's what we're doing. <laughs> and then, of course, just our, our standard notes as always, modifications, always, if you need it, modify. If you don't know how, drop me a comment on Facebook or if you're working out on uh, YouTube later on or Facebook later on, just shoot me a message and I will be happy to help you. And uh, let's see, add music if you need it. No music here, just the whir of my heater. It is a chilly, damp morning this morning um, here in Tennessee. So I need to knock the edge off a little bit. And uh, like I said, I will be checking Facebook for questions between sets as always. So if you do have any questions or comments, please leave them for me. And the last two notes always is please just share these workouts. Um, we would love to see more people working out along with us, or even after the fact. I'd love to see you here, but I understand my schedule isn't your schedule, so the more people, the merrier. And lastly, um, please subscribe on, or not lastly, YouTube also. Please subscribe on YouTube. Um, that really would help me because the more subscribers that I have there, the more options that I have. So that would be super helpful too. And lastly, if you would like to donate any funds for these classes, Venmo at Strong Style Fit is where you'll find me. It is the only payment I receive for these classes, so it is greatly appreciated. All right, guys, so we are going to need our sturdy chair. We're going to start with those split squats. 
So it's going to take me just a second. I need to move one pumpkin so I can get my chair set up. I'll get a drag, blah, 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 grab my drink of water as normal, check the video, and then we will get started. So go ahead and get your space set up. Um, I will try, I know split squat, I kind of coach to death because it is one of those, you've really got to get your body set up perfect for it. So go ahead while I'm doing all of these things and start getting yourself set up in your split squat. If you've worked out with me before, you have went through this setup several times, so you should kind of know um, where to be. I'll still coach it some, um, of course, as always, I never stop coaching, but um, I'm not going to coach the setup to death like I have um, been in previous uh, workouts. So, um, and if you're like, oh gosh, please don't leave me alone with that, and the coaching I do for this segment is not enough for you because you've never done it before, then just do your regular traditional squat, or I'm sorry, your regular traditional lunge, and uh, I will help you after the fact. Just shoot me a message if you need it, or you can go back to some old workouts and catch it there. All right, guys, so let's get started. I'm going to move my pumpkin momentarily. I'll just send here. He can be a little set piece there for us. And I'm going to move my chair in. I think these are the heaviest kitchen chairs ever. I believe there actually was an outdoor, a really nice outdoor patio set that somebody had that they gave to us, and we just made it look nice. All right, I'm going to step out, check the video, and you get yourself set up, and we will get going. Thanks, Carrie, if you're still watching. This is from a really awesome brewery in Florida. So it's got two cross beer bottles as the crossbones. I thought that was pretty great. Um, I saw it hanging on the wall. I'm not one to normally be like, I need to buy a t-shirt everywhere I go on vacation. But I saw that on the wall and I was like, yes, that's the one. And it's Mad Beach, which I think is fantastic too. All right, so guys, we're going to do our split squat with an overhead press. So our overhead press is going to be a narrow overhead press. So pretend I'm split squatting now. We're going to come down and as we stand, press up. So this is what we're looking for in our split squat. So that's the weight that you're going to want to grab. I'm going to go for the heavier end and uh, see where we go from there. So I'm going to pull my chair into the frame just a little bit. So we're going to set up our split squat. I'll tell you guys, um, with it being wet and cold and damp here in Tennessee, my knees are definitely not at their happiest place today. So my split squat, like I woke up this morning, I was like, oh, all days to write split squats. Perfect. <laughs> uh, but I will do the best I can, you do the best we can, and we will get through this. So remember with your split squat, you're gonna step back. With your back leg here, you want to be able to come straight down into your lunge. So I know it's called a split squat because it's a single leg squat, but it very much looks like a lunge. So you want to be able to come straight down with that knee still staying over the ankle. You want to have those hips squared off, both hip points facing forward. We load our weight up here to our shoulder. Woo, we catch our balance. We come down and we push straight up. So we're going forward. 10 to 12 each leg. Let's go. You can have your toe curled up on the step or you can have it flat on your step or chair, wherever you feel more comfortable. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, whoo, eleven, twelve. Woo! Feeling it already. Those are so intense, right? It's just like insta work when we do those. All right, so we've got another side to do. Huh. Gonna set ourselves up. We've got our foot on the back step back chair, whatever it is that you've got back there. Always say, do a little test run. See where you are. Perfect. All right. Whenever you're ready, let's do it.
Good. Make sure you're keeping that shoulder relaxed, away from your neck. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Whew. Heart rate, insta climb. Ah. All right. So we're not gonna dig further into those shoulders and do our isolation. So we're gonna do our front lateral raise alternating. So we've got our shoulders down, catching our breath, <laughs> and we're going to lift, rotate, lift. So just quick reminders, when we lift to the front, our body's gonna want to do this. Make sure you're keeping that shoulder back. Your front raise is here, not here, okay? All right, stop worrying about that shoulder height. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make sure your weights aren't too heavy here. Eight. You're going to start using your neck. Nine. Your traps. Muscles you don't want to be using here. Eleven. Twelve. If you go lighter, you can really engage the right muscles that you're trying to work. Fourteen. So I'm not trying to tell you to take the easy road. Fifteen. But if you do this exercise, I feel all sorts of pull through your neck, and that's a good indicator. Your weights are just a little too heavy. 19, 20, perfect. All right, set those weights down. We're going right back to those split squats. So you kind of see the method here. We're working our shoulder with that overhead press, and then we stop, and we dig down into our shoulders a little further. All righty. So let's get ourselves down in here. So again, we kick that foot back. Woo. My balance in the morning definitely leaves a little bit to be desired, for sure. All right, so we've got that foot back. We square our hips off, because usually when we kick our foot back, we kind of twist our hips back with it. So square those hips off. Give yourself a little test run. Slide off your chair. I'm a mess this morning, guys. But you know what? This is exactly what I talked about in my Instagram post, if you follow me on Instagram, about how I like that I do workouts live. Let's go ahead and get started. Because you guys get to see it all. And I think that's important. Just like only putting out the most perfect version of yourself on social media. It's such a, man, it can really destroy people, honestly. You know, working out can be messy. You stumble. You lose your balance. Your form breaks. You know, and if you, all you show people is perfection, then they think something's wrong with them when they start stumbling, falling. Two. One, you know, they're like, they think they have, they have to strive for this perfection. It's just not real. <laughs> and so when I started doing these workouts, you know, I sort of had a decision to make <sighs> about if I wanted to record them or do them live. And after a lot of thought, let's get started. <sighs> I thought live was the way to go. So you can see that me, a fitness professional, has all the same problems that you do. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. 
Perfect. Good. Some days in my split squat, I gotta keep a finger on the wall. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Just being real, being honest. I think it's a great way to go. I understand it's not the prettiest way to go. It's probably not gonna get me sponsored by anybody. <laughs> but that's what I believe to be right. All right, I'll go off my soapbox. <laughs> We've got our alternating lateral and front raises. Shoulders back and down. Engage that core. Let's lift. <sighs> also used to do theater. <sighs> A lot. <laughs> Eight. Group fitness instructor. So I'm just used to be in front of people. Whew. So the thought of kind of releasing myself unedited into the wild was like, eh, whatever. 14. 15. Almost there. 16. 17. Hang tight, guys. 18. 19, last one, 20. Awesome work, guys. We got one more trick through that set. You give yourself just a second if you need it. I'm gonna try to quit sit. Ah, all right. Ready for one more set? You totally are. All right. So let's get ourselves lined up one more time. I didn't do what I always recommend. So I will mention it real quick. Usually, because it is so hard to kind of get your perfect split squat set up, I'll usually set a weight or some kind of marker where I put my front foot so I don't have to remeasure every time. But I did not think to do that. I did not practice what I preached this morning. <sighs> all right. So all set, lined up, shoulder press ready, shoulders down. Engage that core. Let's go. 11. 10. Scoop my foot just a little bit up. 9. 8. 7. It helps to pick a focal point. It's not moving. 6. 5. Ooh, my shoulders are getting tired now. Four. Three. Two. One. Ooh. Yeah. Everything. <laughs> Everything was tired on that one. Whew. All right. Other side. All right. Give yourself that little test. Beautiful. And again, you want to be able to drop straight up and down. No leaning forward, no leaning back. Straight up and down. Whew. All right, guys. Let's go. Eight. Let's 
Let's do it. Make sure you're breathing. Yeah, I might have to drop these weights. 15. 16. 17. 18. 19. Last one. 20. Goodness me, y'all. <laughs> That's some work. All right. Oh, we're going to take a little break. Catch your breath. <sighs> you are done with the need for that sturdy chair. So you can move the chair out of your workout space. And put Mr. Pumpkin. <sighs> Actually, for the moment, I'm going to scoop these guys up. So you have a little extra room. All right, just keep catching your breath. We are not moving again for another minute or so. So where we're going next, just so you know, and I'll demonstrate once we get there, we're gonna do a lateral lunge. So lateral lunge is where we step out to the side and lunge, and we're gonna do a high pull. So we step out, pull, and back. Step out, pull. Obviously, this is not a proper lateral line. I'm just giving you an idea of where we're going. So your pull is going to be back through your shoulder, not up like this, back through that shoulder blade. So I just kind of want to give you that idea, and then we're going to do reverse fly. So we've got intense work in our legs with those lateral lunges. We're going to be doing some medium intensity with those high pulls, and then we dig in with that reverse fly. So just so you know what weights to grab, I'm going to take my quick break, and then we'll get started. All right. Woo. Now, just be aware, your lateral lunges might feel pretty intense now after doing those split squats before. So just don't be surprised if you immediately get into your lateral lunge and are like, what? Ah, so I'm gonna demonstrate with you with a really light weight just so I can slow, slow it down and really show it. So we're gonna stay on one side and lateral lunge, 10 to one side, 10 to the other. So lateral lunge, just as a reminder, we stand tall, we step out parallel with our other foot, we step out and we lunge over that leg here and push up. So just be aware how far you go. Sometimes we step out really wide and then we lateral lunge. We're sort of not over our leg. Now our knee's in this funky place. So you want to lateral lunge out to where you can sit down on top of your leg and then push in. I'm definitely a culprit because I'm flexible I'm kind of stretchy. It feels good to step out really wide and lean in, but you're not, this is more of a stretch than it is work into that leg. And like I said, it also puts your knee in kind of a wonky place. So we step out, we lunge down, so we drop and we pull as we step up. So we drop down, pull, drop down, pull. Okay. So that's where we're going to be at. 10 on each leg, and we stop, and we reverse slide to the middle. All right, so uh, I'm gonna start with my left leg. <sighs> I'm gonna give myself just a little test run to see about where I need to step. All right, 
Let's go. 10, 9, we're really pulling through the back of that shoulder, 8, to do our high pull, 7, 6, 5, I'll do my other side, actually from the back, 4, Three, so you can see what I'm talking about. Two. One. I used my lighter weight. Oopsie. <laughs> so I'll do the same on the other side. And then I will uh, go up to my proper weight. All right. So we did left. All right. So I'll show you from the back. Just so you can see what I'm talking about in that shoulder movement. All right. Other leg. So we step out. So you can see, my shoulder is away from my ear, eight, seven, six, I'm pulling back through that shoulder blade area, four, three, two, one. I hope you can see that motion. I know I'm not like insanely ripped, <laughs> so I don't have all these flowing muscles to show you. Ah. But hopefully you can see that motion in the shoulder blade I was talking about. All right, so now we're going to do reverse fly. So we're digging in to that same part of our shoulders. Ah. Got our weights out to the front. We're going to sit back into a chair just a little bit. Chest tall, we've got bear hug, arms, and we keep that bend and we open and set them down. Okay? So we're not doing this, we're keeping that bend. It's like somebody's grabbing your elbows and pulling your elbows back. Okay? All right, let's do it. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. All right. We've got our next set. I just drip sweat when I bend over. We've got our lateral lunges with that pull. Hey. Give yourself just a sec. Get your breath if you need to. Dust your hair out of your eyes. All right, let's go. So we step out, lunge over that leg, drop the weight, pull up. Seven. Make sure in that lateral lunge you're still sitting back into that chair. Six. You're not dumping forward into that knee. Five. It's just like a squat. Sit back. Four. Three. Two. One. Other side. So, like I was saying, if you want to make sure when you step out, you're still sitting back, that you don't step out and then dump forward. It's very easy to do. It's really what your body, unless you've been working out a lot, is more inclined to think you should do. So you just gotta retrain it. 10, nine, eight, seven, Work. All right, 
Got our reverse flies. Feel. It is cool. 
This one is all internal. <laughs> pre-existing conditions in your elbow, 
that your weight's too heavy and your and your muscles just can't support that weight. So you're just falling into your joints and squeezing out of your joints. Okay? Alright. So we pair the skull crusher with our bridge lift. So when we drop down, pretend there's a string attached to your hips and that pushes your hips. So it's like you're pulling your hips up with the weight and dropping it back down. So your bridge, you want your feet about hip width apart. Close into your booty. Plug those shoulders down. And we are going for 12 of these guys. Let's do it. 12. Eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one. Perfect. If you're staying with your skull pressure weight for your bench, then you don't even need to sit up. You can just flip your weights, measure to your chest, and go ahead and get yourself set up. I'm switching out weights, so I need to pop out for a second. These weights will be heavier, so I'm going to be smart, kick them up with my knees. Now my braids under my head. There we go. <laughs> So now we're going to push up into our bridge and just hold our bridge. So our bridge is static. Again, measure out your weights. You want your weights to land at your chest. So that's where your elbows need to fall. Not up here, down that chest. So we lift, we hold. Make sure you don't forget about that bridge. Keep those hips up, glutes squeezing, 12. 11, 10, try to relax that neck, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Perfect. Set it down. If your weights aren't too heavy and you feel comfortable, you can just drop them down to the side like that. If they are very heavy for you, please do it properly. Okay? All right. So, I'm going to try to do school pressures with this weight. I may find... Oh, wait, no. We got our... Sorry. We have push-ups. Oh, no. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I know you were like, oh, snap. Maybe she's forgetting push-ups. <laughs> nope, we got them. All right, so we're going to go for 10 push-ups. That is just uncanny. You just cannot do it, and that's fine. Do as many as you can. Or you can modify to the wall to get your 10 push-ups, okay? So I push-ups I'm not a stickler on just because I don't know you guys. I don't know, I know some of you, but I don't know what you're capable of. I don't know what injuries you have. I don't know where you're at. And push-ups is one that we tend to push ourselves through and do poorly and hurt ourselves. So, please modify to the wall. If you feel like you need it, modify to your knees if you feel like you need it, or rock star down on your toes if you're confident that you can do it, okay? All right, so to modify for our push-ups, we get everything set up as normal. So we have our hands under our shoulders, nice wide fingers. We step back into a full plank, and then we drop our knees down. So now we know we're in our best modified position. And then, again, just like when we do a bench press, we want our chest kind of even with our hands. So when we get to the bottom, our chest and our hands are sort of equal side by side. Okay? All right. Let's go for our best. Shooting for 10. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Also, don't be shocked if those felt even harder. 
harder than normal because we just did the chest, two chest and tricep exercises and then went into another chest and tricep exercise. So don't be like, what is happening? If suddenly those felt even harder than normal. All right, we've got our bridge and our skull pressure. I'm going to ah, feel like my shirt. Nope, I felt like my shirt was like up around my chest. All right. So let's load that up. Get our bridge set up. Plug those shoulders down into the floor. All right. So remember, it's like we have a string attached to our weight. We drop, we lift our hips. 11, 10, 9, 8, I'm going to drop, I can tell from the combination of exercises we're doing, today is not the day to go up on skull crushers, all right, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Set those down. And we've got our bench press. So these weights are not incredibly heavy for me, so I can kind of safely lift them from the floor. But again, if you've got weights that are very challenging for you, please, please, please sit up, up on your knees, take them back. Woo. And even in the modified version of that push-up, I got my shoulder a little angry. Ugh. Super shoulder. All right. So we're going to hold our bridge and we bench press. So let's set our bench up. Again, we want to land down by our chest. I'm going to go ahead and get set. All right. Hold that bridge. We go 12, 11, 10. Squeeze to those glutes. Lift those hips to the sky. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Perfect. Set it down. Whew. All right. So, we've got our push ups. Um, like I said, my little shoulder thing just got really mad during those push ups. So, I'm going to give it a shot back on the floor, but if I don't have it, see if I can find some space on the wall. All right, so let's get ourselves set up. Not long, shoulders down. Drop our knees. <laughs> My brain just stopped like, what are we doing again? All right, push-ups, let's do it. 10, nine, eight, seven, Shame me for doing it that way. I just did it myself. There's nothing wrong with it. 
but um, just listen, right? Again, just listen to your body. Know it's smart for you. Know it's worth it for you. Okay, so one more set. Give your wrist a little shake out if you need it. Stretch that chest out a little bit if you need it. All right. We are coming up. So we've got our skull crushers with the bridge. Lock those shoulders down. Woo! All right, guys. Let's go. 12. 11. 10. 9. 8. 7. guys. Again, don't be surprised if all of this is feeling a little more fatigued than normal. We're really digging into that chest and those triceps. All right. Let's get our bench press weight up. Then plug those shoulders back. We'll lift those hips. Let's go. 12. 11. 10. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Where's that bridge? Three, two, one. Perfect. Lay it down. Offload those weights. We've got one set of push ups left. All right, we can do this, guys. Ten more push-ups. <sighs> you can do it. All right, get yourself set up. Wall to your knees, whatever it is you need today. And let's do it. Ten. Ooh. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, woo, two, one. Whoa. Oh, goodness. Uh, I always tell people, I'm like, I don't know the push ups ever stop sucking. I don't know. <laughs> it is definitely one of my weakest exercises. Oh, for sure. Always has been. I hope one day someone will figure out whatever's going on in my shoulder and fix it. And then maybe, just maybe, my push-ups will be better. Ah. And guys, a great way. Don't need any more weight. You can put them away. And before I keep talking, I'm going to check on time and see if we have time for our um, bonus round. I'm going to check the time. We'll be right back. Yep, we can totally bonus rounds. All right. So, um, what I was going to say is a great way to work on push-ups and how I normally do it outside of class. If you have a workout in a facility, because... And, or if you have a weight rack at home. If you have a weight rack at home, or if you work out a facility that has weight racks, you can take one of these bands and loop it over the top, you know, where you get one of these deals. So you're hooked, you're attached to the top, and you have a loop to hang down, 
and then you put this around your rib cage, and then come down and do your push-ups. So this is taking some of the pressure and lifting, helping you lift your body weight. So it's taking some of that pressure and effort out. It is a great way, go right way to practice push-ups and limit, um, limit the. I want to say difficulty. I guess that's one way to say it. It takes some of the challenge away, but I think it takes a lot of that pressure, a lot of that weight off of you, and lets you really work on your form and build up the muscles you need without just going straight on body weight. Which, if you think about it, straight on body weight is a lot of weight, right? All right, guys. So you're gonna hate me for this bonus round. We're gonna do three one-minute planks. Not three minute. Not a three-minute plank. Three one-minute planks. So I didn't bring my timer out, but I will count it out as closely as I can, and uh, we can do this. It's going to be a great finisher, leave us feeling super strong. So modify is exactly how I showed you to modify a push-up, is exactly how you modify a plank. So go up into full plank, even if it's just for, excuse me, even if it's just for five seconds, two seconds, whatever it is, and then drop your knees down. As we go through these minute planks, if you can't hold it for the full minute, um, if you're in full version, then drop to modified. If you're in modified and you can't hold anymore, then just come out and come back in when you're ready. So I encourage you for the one minute, do whatever it is it takes to get you through the one minute. Don't quit giving up, even if you have to stop every 10 seconds. Don't quit. Don't give up. Okay? I think I said don't quit giving up. Huh. <laughs> Anyways, don't quit. Don't give up. Keep trying for one minute, okay? All right, so set up. We've got our shoulders under our hands. Nice wide, wide starfish fingers. Shoulders engaged. We're pushing the floor up. We've got our head. We're looking slightly out in front. Not up like this. Not down on our knees. Come back. Let's go. Good, push away, 48, drive back through those heels, core engaged, lifting, I can't talk too much because I'm counting in my head, you can do it, halfway there, 29, you are strong, 20 seconds. Don't give up. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop your knees. Come on down. Set it back. Good job. Did you hold the whole one minute? If the answer is no, that is fine, as long as you kept trying through that one minute. I used to end a lot of my kickboxing classes, per those ladies' requests, <laughs> with plank challenges, and we got up to about three, three and a half minutes um, of holding a plank, which was incredible. It was incredible to see that many women in one class just kicking ass and holding a one minute, three minute plank. Um, but that was a rule, right, for everybody. You know, newcomers, they come and be scared, um, was just keep trying. Just don't give up. And then you've done a three-minute plank. Even if you had to drop to your knees, even if you had to stop for a minute, it's the effort, right? It's the effort. All right. Let's do this. Put those hands down. You can also, if you have trouble with your wrist, if your hands or your wrists are starting to bother you, you can drop down and hold a low plank. That is a perfectly acceptable option. All right, set ourselves up. Wide, wide hands, pushing the floor away. Drive through the back of those heels. Gaze out in front. Let's go. Pushing away that floor. Core tucked flat. Pelvic floor in. So don't let yourself start to drop down.
halfway there. Drive through those heels. 15, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop it down. Good work, guys. You got one more left, and that is it. Shake those wrists out. Rotate, rotate. If you're having trouble with your wrists, we've done a lot of supporting weights with our wrists, so they can definitely be tired. And we did those push-ups. I like to just kind of massage mine sometimes, give them a squeeze. I have no idea if that officially does anything, but it feels good to me. <laughs> All right, let's do a big stretch, big open up in that chest. All right, we ready for one more? All right, let's do it. Ah. So let's spend just another second on that setup. Wide fingers, hands under our shoulders. Roll those shoulders back and push away. So don't collapse down into them. Pushing up strong. Step back and let's go. And really think about that core. We tend to let our belly drop down below us. Pull it up and in. Tuck that pelvis. Not like this. Neutral spine. Drive through the back of those heels. Halfway there. Twenty. Shaking, that's all right. Keep pushing. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop it down. Woo! You can set it back. Stretch that back in those shoulders. Oh, feels so good. All right, you are definitely welcome. Stay on the floor, keep stretching. I feel like I spend all of my free time stretching these days. <sighs> so, awesome work guys. That was a super, super workout. Really intense, maybe even a little more intense than I thought when I wrote it, which is awesome. <laughs> I love it. I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. I hope you did too. Any feedback is welcome. Kind of doing those combo exercises and then doubling down into one of those muscle groups. I really liked that. I think I'll have to experiment with that a little more. I think that was an awesome way to do it. So any feedback, always appreciated. Positive or negative. You don't have to kiss my butt. Any, any feedback is great. And uh, just as a reminder too, I mentioned um, in a previous video, um, if you're watching this and you feel so inclined, a review on my Facebook page would be awesome. Um, I do have a few reviews, but they're all about my group fitness or in-person training, and nothing really talks about the video. So if you do feel so inclined, um, a review of video service would be incredible. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed the workout. I hope you enjoyed the, the scenery around us. And a uh, huge thanks to my amazing husband for being so kind and setting all this awesome stuff up for me every day. So, so great of him, too. So. Thanks for joining me, guys. I really appreciate you being here. I hope you enjoyed the workout. Please share these videos. Subscribe to my page. If you do wish to donate any funds, Venmo at Strong Style Fit is where you'll find me. Guys, I look forward to seeing you next week. I'm going to continue some Halloween themes. I encourage you to do the same, and I look forward to seeing you again. Have a great rest of your week. Bye.